All right, real-time blade change. Let's take the tension off this thing. I'm going to take it all the way off. As you can see, you get the buildup of sawdust in here. Get that cleaned out. See how this uh, cast iron band wheel is loose? That's what you want. Then you can just carefully, preferably with gloves, but I don't have any out here. Preferably with gloves, take this blade right off. And I'm going to get this out of the way. And I'm going to put it out here so I remember to take it back up to the shop and we'll get that sharpened. I got a bit of a pile going, so I'll get to that hopefully sooner rather than later. And we'll just check things. My belt is getting a bit worn. I can start to see little cracking going on in between uh, the ridges here. And so I'm going to get that changed out uh, again at some point. Don't know when, won't be today, but let's carry on. Now, some of you guys are very, very particular about your blade storage, and I should be a bit more particular. I didn't realize a little bit of water was sitting down in the bottom and causing some surface rust. I don't think that's going to be a big issue. It's probably going to wear off um, probably almost immediately once I fire this thing up. If that bothers you, well, get a steel brush out here. Maybe you could put one out at your sawmill and get it cleaned off. I just don't happen to have one here, so... And once again, gloves would be an ideal, an ideal uh, piece of equipment right now. Yeah. There we go. Okay, and I'm just getting it so the back of the blade is flush with the back of the band wheel. I'm probably gonna have to adjust it. Usually with a new blade, you have to adjust the alignment slightly. But uh, yeah, anyways, we're gonna start it off in the right spot. Once it's approximately where it needs to be, I'm gonna bring the tension on in and you guys can watch this bandsaw wheel uh, start to tilt like this. See it there, see it moving? So I'm just gonna tighten her up a bit and we're gonna make sure we're still approximately where we should be. If you're not, loosen that band wheel off, uh, excuse me, loosen that handle off, and then the blade will be able to be moved again. For me, I'm a little out of whack on the top, so let's get that fixed up. Okay, and then we'll snug it up again. I'm gonna go grab the torque wrench. One thing I do have out here, there's a torque wrench. You guys have seen in other videos, I just use this Husky. This one's from Home Depot, it served me quite well set to 25 foot pounds according to my sawmill specs and we're going to bring it up to 25 foot pounds and surprisingly i thought i was relatively close i wasn't even okay there's my 25 and i'm just going to look again it's sort of moved back a bit but i think we're close enough this one at the top is not Oh yeah, no, it's good. So that's close. And so what I'm going to do, I always stand behind this just in case the blade jumps off. Um, probably a glove and a long sleeve shirt would do you. I'm going to rotate it here. And I'm rotating it by hand because stuff like this starts to happen. Can you guys see that? That blade has moved all the way back. Look at those teeth. They're all the way back. That would jump off if I would have started the engine and fired it up. So. What we're going to do in this case, because the blade is drifting backwards, we want to move it forward. I'm going to loosen this one full revolution, one full turn. And as you guys can see, I wrote down the, the uh, instructions from the manual. Clockwise, so clockwise on this bolt, moves the blade rearward. Well, I want to go frontward, so I'm going to go counterclockwise. So come on back to my adjustable wrench, crescent, uh, crescent wrench. Loosen off this. And what did I say? Clockwise. So I want to go counterclockwise. And I'm going to move it. Well, you can see where we're at. I'm just going to move down maybe a quarter turn. Okay, and you guys hear that? That sound there? So because the blade is so far off, what I'm going to do before I make that adjustment, I'm going to loosen it right off. And I'm going to put it back where it should go. Because it moved quite a bit on me. So... What I'm doing is making the blade flush with the back of the cast iron band wheel. Okay, that's closer. 
Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to retorque it. Oh, I think I overdid it there. Go a bit slower. There we go, 25. And I did make an adjustment, so before I make any more adjustments, I'm just going to ro rotate it once. And I'm just watching the blade to see if it moves back or forward. And it's moving way forward here, so I'm going to loosen this off. One full revolution. And because it went too far forward, we're going to take this clockwise just a little bit. So that much. And then we'll retorque it. Spin it around again, and hopefully, we're there. Okay, and it's actually very close. And so I'll spin it around a few times here. And what I'm doing, you'll notice with my right hand, you maybe didn't notice. I'm taking my hand and I'm running it along the back of the cast iron band wheel. And I'm trying to feel that the blade is flush with the back of that band wheel. And I am very, very close. So I tend to go in this location and this location. Okay, so I'm very close there. This one, this side, you don't tend to adjust all that often. And that side's good. So this one is very, very close. To be honest, I want to bring it back just a touch. And so before I adjust that, I'm going to take off the tension again. One full revolution. Keep this handy because I'm going to use it momentarily. So I want to bring it back just a snidgen. Is that a word? Snidgen? Smidgen? Clockwise. Moves rearward. So we're going clockwise just a touch. And honestly, you aren't moving this bolt too much, too often. Okay. That should probably be it. I'm going to assume. We're going to rotate it again. And that is what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. 